Hey guys, and um, welcome back to another video. If you don't know what my name is, my name is Joshua. I'm 16, I'm going into sixth form. I'm just here to create funny videos that make you guys smile. If this video brings you a new insight into your life and everything or whatever, please block. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so basically, as we all know, GCSEs have happened. I don't know how long it's been since GCSEs, but it has been a few days, a few a week, maybe nearly a week. But as you all know, GCSEs was very a rough time for all of us. And can I just say, Ekwe, they scammed. There were scammers at first. Ekwe was first scammers who came from Earth. These are the people who literally scammed us from daylight. They were literally robbers. Like, I don't know how much I have to stress this. If you probably click on this video, you're probably not happy with GCSE results. Please continue watching. So, as we all know, just finished our exams, and many of us have been ripped off by AQA exam board and many other examples, especially subjects like English. I don't know why, maybe it's due to the great inflation and the news we saw, but many people have been really, 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 really upset and distraught about the exam grades. Me, I was really disappointed with the grades I got. So disappointed that I actually might retake English because of the grades I got was not what I expected. Like, yeah, I'm better than the grade I got. You can see my grades, you can watch my video, which I'll probably link up there somewhere in this part. Can we go to the park or something? Yeah, sure, we can go to the park after I'm done doing my video. Say hi. So guys, my brother came. What was I saying? I was talking about GCSEs and how many of us have been really unhappy with the results I got, especially I did. Let me tell you about the background story for my GCSEs. So for my GCSEs, I chose history, sociology, IT, health studies, and of course, I did my core subjects, including English, science, and math. Subjects I would normally lean towards was the ones that include loads of writing and essay style based subjects, because I'm really into that. I'm really, really good at doing writing. I'm really good at like communicating through writing, because I do like writing stories. I do like reading a lot. Subjects that I'll be leaning towards was more like English, not as much as maths, because I really like, maths was definitely a struggle for me. Like, I definitely, it had, it took me a lot of time to even get a pass grade because I really did struggle with maths a lot. However, English, it came to me naturally, so I really understood it. Take that aside. So normally, for my English grades, I would normally get a bit above sixes. I remember at the start of year 10, I was in set four. I don't know why they put me there, but I was like, set four is not for me, so like I need to move up my grades. I need to be at least set two, set one. Throughout the years, I was able to move up my set towards set three, set two. End of year 11, I was in set two. Year 10, I think I was in set three. Yeah, I was in set three then. Again, I was confused why I'm in set three in year 11. So I was like, no, I'm gonna upgrade my grade. So when I did my November mocks, I was able to get a grade eight. Little backstory, I had an English teacher who was like a substitute teacher. He even told me that before lessons, cause she was the one who marked our paper. She came to me after lessons like, it was English language paper one we had to write create a story and she's like Joshua the story you wrote was one of the best stories I've ever written in my years of teaching obviously hearing that I was very 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 you know happy that somebody told me that I was very excited I was like wow so if I can do this I can definitely get a grade down through my GCSEs I didn't which is really 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 sad to be honest because I know I'm more capable of getting the grade I got than at least an A get a single A in my grades I did pass all of them, but not a single A was in sight, which was very disappointing for me. I was very confused as to why. I think a lot of us have been ripped off by many exam people. I think a lot of us know that we have the ability to get nines because we are very intelligent. I remember going to TikTok that many people were like, very confused when they got lower than the predicted grades. Like they were all A star students. And then when they got their GCSEs, they got sevens and eights. I would have thought that because I did a lot of revision during those two weeks holiday, even through the months coming through GCSEs, I would have thought that maybe I could have got like a higher grade and it's the point of this video is that you're not alone getting your GCSE grades yes we may have gotten the GCSE grades that we are not happy with but for those who have passed for those who are able to still pass to get a decent grade like we should at least just be like grateful that we are able to do it at the end of the day you are still going to able to pass the next time and just because you failed doesn't mean you failed in life you just failed in that one thing you can still excel and improve on your next thing that's the thing about life like you make mistakes and then you improve about it I just think that never mark those exams were definitely on fire they were definitely mad and upset at some individuals but in all honesty guys we did our best for GCSEs I was just very disappointed because I if you didn't know I did study quite a lot during the exam season however during the beginning of the year it was around 
June the beginning of year 11, I didn't do as much revision as one who would, you know, start earlier. As my parents would say, they thought that if I started earlier, I probably would have been able to get the grades I wanted and not be as disappointed as I was. My revision, I started during, um, I really upped my revision, I really intensified closer to exam season. At the start of year 11, I was very confused, I didn't know what to do. I was very like, my day's like, what do I do? Like, how am I supposed to get all these grades? How am I going to organise it? So I have no organisation, I was very disorganised. I was very out of place, I didn't know what to do entirely, so I was like, oh gosh, like, what can I do? Like, it's going to help me, how am I going to, what are my revision resources? I didn't know any of that, so I was like, during that time I was searching up like revision materials instead of actually doing that revision. So because of that I was at a disadvantage, especially towards my mocks. During my mocks I didn't really revise during my mocks. I thought that I could literally just, you know, do it a week before, do two weeks before and then I'll be okay. But for me I think I started to learn that that's not me. Some people they can, you know, they don't revise and they're able to get all nines, but for me, I have to really study, even get like a decent grade. That's how I feel about myself. And I think that's how I'm gonna take that attitude towards A levels. I can't just, you know, leave it to last minute because that's when I would truly, truly fail and flop. I, but in honesty, if I continue to, you know, truly revise and truly study to do it immediately and to do it long time before exam seasons. So that's what I definitely learned during that. However, three months before exams, that's when I really intensified. It's like, like, Josh, you really need to do these exams. You really need to revise and study. And so I really intensified my study. I went to every single intervention because my school did interventions for exams. I went to every single one. I was like, I'm gonna cut off all social medias because I need this grace. I want these grace more than anything. I prayed. If you don't know, I'm a Christian. I love Jesus and I'm willing to share more about Jesus' continents on this channel if people want to see that but yeah i'm a christian i love jesus so i prayed for this i fasted for this and during that fasting during that prayer god showed me a verse about hannah and hannah she prayed for a child she prayed and prayed she cried for a child and then, then god gave it to her so i prayed for nines i prayed for a star grade revised as much as i can through this month when i was revising i was very tense there's a fear factor when i was revising at the back of my head so when i revised there'll be this fear fact how much you revise you will never get the grade so that was a bit at the back of my head while i'm revising so i'll just ignore it be like okay whatever i'll just continue to do so. however i think it really began to show during my exams another reason why i didn't get my nines and what i did was because i was very nervous during my exams it's really nervous that i really had mini panic attacks like when I entered the exam, my hands would shake, my body would start shaking, I started to feel very hot and tense. It wasn't a very great experience until I told my parents and said, Hey Josh, that GCC said not do or die. You are going to do it, you're still going to survive. And they prayed over me. Some few days of exams and like stuff passed, I started to like get into exams. Slowly I started to understand it. But that's my exam experience and how I saw it. So I would have thought at least I've gotten at least sevens, you know. But I didn't even get a seven. My highest grade I got my GCSEs was a six, which was in a sociology, which I would have thought I would have at least gotten a nine because I genuinely understood all the subjects in sociology. When I was revising, I understood it. I understood my exams. I understood the whole structure of sociology. Like I knew back to back, I knew my essay structure as well with my 12 markers during the exam season. I would have thought I would at least get a nine, but I didn't. That was a very shock and disappointment for me. For GCSEs, I would have thought maybe, at least maybe, a seven but no it didn't happen but i shared this with you guys experience with jesus so many people can relate not to be too hard on yourself that okay maybe you didn't get the grace you want but really cliche but really there is a plan for you like god has a plan for me because i didn't get the grades i wanted and because i didn't get the grades meet into my a level subjects i had to swap it so for my a levels i'm doing it sociology psychology and art originally i wanted to do sociology psychology biology and english these are my four subjects i liked during all the options they gave me however i didn't get the grades required for biology nor did i get the grades required for english so i had to swap it because i swapped it then i have to resort to you know art and it so i'm looking into the subjects because it wasn't really the first thing art has always been in the back of my mind because as you can see you know my art is there these are a long time ago this was just me practicing these are not my real art but if I just want to see my art stuff, I can show you in a later video. I have my sketchbook. Um, yes, it's, it's at the back. Excuse my background, by the way. It's just my messy stuff. What I'm doing now, I'm currently going to do art, psychology, sociology, and IT. I'm very thankful I'm able to do psychology because I really want to learn about the human brain. As you can see, let me show you my book, guys. I, got, I did get a sociology book. If you guys want to see videos I've been doing book reviews, I would like to do it as well. I have so many videos I did that are coming up. But yeah guys, whether you see during exam seasons, right, whether you failed, whether you passed, whether you got eights and nines, 
But don't get me wrong, there's a lot of people that got nines which I'm very thankful for. People in my school that got all nines. Every single subject that was all nines. The fact that I prayed for all nines and I didn't get all nines, I know that that is God telling me maybe this is not what I want for you. I have something great, I have something bigger and greater for you than getting all nines. So that's really what's keeping me, you know, not too down about. One minute, I'm going out of breath. Not too down about not getting the grades I wanted. And seeing them with my exams, I like I don't want that disappointment for me in A level. So the minute I start to get a hang of six form routine, because I've never been to six form, I don't know how to do routine is B, so I have no idea what I'm getting into. But know that if I prepare for it really well, if I like begin to you know work towards it, that if I start my revision earlier than I did in year eleven, I'm definitely at better advantage. I know all my revision techniques. I know which one works for me during this trial and error process during the GCSEs. So now I can put all the best revision sources to my A levels and work from it and do my best as I can. You know. So yeah, guys, I just been saying you're blessed you are going to achieve what you want in life and just because GCSEs was a minor thing that put you off the track don't let you like put you off the whole your whole life process like GCSEs are such a tiny amount of thing tiny amount of step up process in your life that it's gonna be like be nothing when you look back into your life when you grow older so that's my advice for you guys like keep on pushing keep studying keep revising and just keep on learning because knowledge is power guys the more you learn the more the more knowledge you gain and the more intelligent you become so don't let just because you didn't get the grace you wanted for GCSEs and just because you're not happy for it, don't let it put you off through your course for A-levels. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so grateful you guys sat down with me and listened to me and let me know how you felt about your GCSEs and we can just talk about it. And this place we always love, share and... Love, share and what? <laughs> what am I even saying? Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Continue doing it because there's nobody like you and we all have a purpose on this app. That's, you know, I'm just gonna end it here. I have nothing else to say. Bye guys.